Okay, second chest incoming. Oh, um, yeah, nothing good. Okay, on the third chest, almost died at 5 HP. I'm going to probably eat something here as soon as I kill him. There we go. Alright, <clears throat> fourth chest. And nothing. Okay, so just wrapping up this KC. I already killed Derak. He came uh, from another door. I had to run all the way around, which sucks because it takes forever, but that's okay. Good luck, me. Oh, nothing still. I'm trying to get spooned, but not working. Okay, and there's another chest. Let's see what we get. And nothing. Skeleton's like the highest one you get. So when are you going to go get us lockpicks? 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 They're in the bank. No, no, no. The, the, the bar was <laughs> lockpicked. Never. What? Sounds terrible. I'd do it if I could. Alrighty, here's the next chest. See if you get anything. Nothing. But I still have 130 hides to tan. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm not going to an AA meeting. Uh, okay, here's the next chest. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll type an AA. <laughs> Oh, nothing again. Dude, this is the worst chest. A thousand mine runes and chaos runes and coins. Worst chest. That's How many right. chaos, though? Hmm? 350. That's... Who cares? You don't use them. Decent amount. What the hell are you going to use them for? You'll use them when you, whenever you get to, like, um, dust devils and necreals for... Um... Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, <laughs> stream it, but I just opened up an easy clue, and I got a wizard's gold hat. Pretty sweet item. Just... Uh, it's not really good for anything, but um, fashion scape, so. Okay, for the third try, uh, opening to episode 12, I think this is now. And during this episode, you can see some barrels runs, uh, which you've already seen. And here's the rules again. Or not the rules, but the point system and the targets. Uh, for those of you who have been following, the full runes achieved of fire tape cape is achieved we're just waiting to see who's going to win the final point count at the end of december and here's the final points on the screen or the current points on the screen excuse me current points is serenity 1947 and shift t 63 stay tuned to see what we do in the, during this episode thanks for watching all righty and there's a rum deal completed <clears throat> see if we get any nope no levels from it on to the next one, Cabin Fever. And there we have it, Cabin Fever completed. Uh, next up, the uh, Great Brain Robbery. Alrighty, there it is, uh, Great Brain Robbery is complete. Uh, I wonder if I get any um, levels from that. Nice, 58 prayer. Oh, nice. Alright, and there's 64 Hunter coming in. I uh, missed the level. But, uh, yep, 6,400. There's 62 firemen coming in. Alrighty, doing some green dragons and got another hard clue. Let's see what we get. Alright, oh, no, really? Actually, that's, that's, that's not half bad. The red, the red dehyde chaps, T, I mean, it's kind of, um, a little bit of a troll. I thought those were Zami chaps at first. Yeah, the Z the Zami blessing though. That's that's pretty clutch. All right, <clears throat> got yet another um, hard clue from Green Dragons. Let's see what we get here. Oh, we got one unique anyway. So Bando's page one. Time to get this uh, juicy juicy uh, farm experience again here. 15k. That's it's really nice. So we'll get one level here. Farming is now level 63. Only two more levels till I can start doing my Hespori seeds and uh, the medium farming contracts. All right, we got ourselves another medium clue we're gonna open here. Let's see what we get. Hmm, junk. Um, there's 59 smithing. Um, ran out of some cannonballs and green dragons, so gotta make some more. 
Alrighty, <clears throat> so I just got done running the uh, first batch of cannonballs that I made, and I managed to get up to 63 prayer. <clears throat> we got a uh, another batch of cannonballs here. We got another 2,000 roughly cannonballs to go through. And that should get us really close to 70 prayer. It'll probably be like 68 or 69 is my guess. Um, but yeah, let's keep going and see where we get to. Okay, first chest of the night. <clears throat> Nothing. Okay, here's the next chest. Hmm, delete. Not really useful, but we'll maybe see what it is. Sure, Sherlock. <clears throat> Yeah, I might just leave that in the bank for now. I don't like clues. Especially elites. Okay. Here's the next chest. Let's see what we get. Wow, we didn't use like any food that time either. That was nice. Okay, running up the next chest. I uh, didn't record the last one, but we got this one. Uh, we didn't get anything last time, so. And nothing this time, once again. Come on. Okay, going in for the next chest. <clears throat> Should be getting something pretty soon, I would think. Oh, fuck. I opened it before. <laughs> Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't think I had, didn't think I had to kill him. <laughs> okay. Not going to mess up this time. I already killed Varak. So good luck me. Oh, dang. It's got to be coming soon, right? Okay, about to complete the <clears throat> seventh chest for the night. He's got to kill uh, Torag here. Probably keep going until I get something. I went five dry, I think, <laughs> before I got off the other night. So we're at, we're at drop rate. Okay, good luck. Nothing. Come on. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see what we get. Nothing. Wow. Uh, I'll take both of these. Okay, coming with the next chest. Chest number 10. Let's see what we get. Oh. Ah. Okay, I did the next chest. Let's see if we get anything. Ah. Okay, <clears throat> here's the next chest. Oh my gosh. So dry now, come on. Strong place. Alrighty. <clears throat> here's the next chest. Uh, chest number 14 on the night. Please. Hey, Gotham's chain skirt. That's the same thing uh, Marcus got. We'll Miles do it back to back and then we'll be done. And that's my second tank legs. I already had uh, Torak or Derax. So okay, <clears throat> here is the back-to-back -back chest. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, we get some. Ah, oh, darn. You know what? I'll go for a back-to-back -back just in case. Just in case. You never know. Okay, welcome back. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm in the Dagonoth cave, uh, killing Dagonoth Rex. Thanks to one of my friends, uh, Yura Towel, helped me get down here. He had the rune throwing axes and um, killed Supreme and Prime. That way I could get over here safely and kill Rex. I uh, got four kills so far. Nothing good. Got 27 steel bars, I guess, which is okay. And here comes the fifth kill, so let's see what we get. I'm hoping to get... <coughs> 10 to 20 kills this trip. Um, that'll give me about a 20% chance at a warrior or berserker ring. Um, that'll help quite a bit for Slayer and doing other things. So that's the goal. Okay, hit. There we go. One more. 
Should be dead. Ah, uh, never lucky. Bury those. Guess we'll pick it up. Oh, one other thing. So I brought um, this set up. So I had uh, the prayer book, holy symbol, proselyte boots, and I thought I was going to pray the range the whole time, but it's really not that great. You want to bring tank gear. So instead of proselyte legs, bring tank legs and bring a rune kite if you have it. Um, and tanky helm and top. And probably don't even need carols, honestly. And yeah, that'd be way better because then you don't need prey pots. I guess I'm just wasting prey pots now whenever I'm praying just for longevity because I don't want to have to bank as often. So um, yeah, once I'm out of food, I'll be basically just praying range the whole time uh, to not get hit as much. And I'm also praying uh, rapid heal. So, But yeah, I uh, recommend tank gear because... Rex has super low mage defense anyways, just like the Barrels Brothers. Okay, here comes kill number six. Uh, probably won't record all the kills, but record a couple, see what we get. Uh, please give me something. Dragon Axe, Dragon Axe. Ooh, Anti-Fire. That's actually... I might be able to use that for Slayer or something. Okay, another shit drop. It is what it is. Okay, here comes kill number 8. I would say we're definitely going to get 10 kills. Mm, pretty bad drop, but Iron Ore is good. We need smithing levels anyways. So, Okay, that's kill number 9. We just got some more steel bars, which is good. And a hard clue. Not the worst. Okay, even though we got the B-Ring, we're going to stay here for a bit. Uh, try to get a Warrior's Ring or a Dragon Axe. Might as well. See if you get lucky. That was awesome. Okay, last kill of the trip. Mithril Warhammer, and that's it. I think I'm going to teleport out because... I'm out of food and I don't want to get one hit and lose my ring. So, <laughs> we're going to teleport out. Alrighty. <clears throat> got another uh, Clue Squirrel here. Another hard one from Green Dragons. Let's see what we get here. Decided to check uh, my health on all my trees and got 64 hoping with my first tree hoping that with the rest of my trees I'll be able to hit 65 we'll see and there it is 65 farming now I can uh, grow my start growing my Hespori seeds I have like 12 of them or something in the bank so that'll be some good amount of XP and I can also plant an extra herb and tree in this um, farming guild. So that's pretty nice to unlock that at level 65. And I can now boost from 65. I can do, there's a pie that I can boost by 3. So I can do Vara card diaries, I think. There might be one other skill requirement that I'm missing, but closer to completing it anyways. Alrighty, so um, I ended up doing the... Legends quest because I got a hard clue that required me to go down into the Kazari jungle. So what I ended up doing was going and doing the uh, Legends quest at the same time so I could do the hard clue. Uh, I put all my lamps into herb lore and I got me from 48 to 51. Uh, time to go finish doing the rest of the steps on that hard clue and then we'll see what we get. Well, that's kind of comical. Right after having uh, one step in the Krazi jungle, um, I have another one. Same same spot, so back to the Krazi jungle I go. Alrighty, <clears throat> we got the casket. Let's see, uh, see what we get. Uh, well, I guess one unique, an ancient page. Alrighty. <clears throat> Back at Green Dragons again, and got another uh, hard casket here. Mm, not the best, but a unique anyways. Yeah, so I had all the uh, requirements that I needed to be able to complete this second to the last um, part of Recipe for Disaster. And so I went ahead and did that. And I was able to get uh, rune gloves which is an upgrade from the Addy gloves so there's only one person left to free and that is King Awawaji or whatever you however you say his name 
Um, I'll probably end up doing that at some point in time in the near future. Alrighty, first uh, Hispori. Let's see what we get. Alright, we got some Addis seeds and some Lantidime seeds. We got a 65 range coming in here. Well, um, there's all my uh, Dragon Bones used. And as you can see, I only managed to get up to 69, and I barely hit 69. <clears throat> I literally had perfect amount of bones just to hit 69. Um, but I did get PK'd twice and lost like probably 20 bones-ish total. I'm going to have to go back and um, do probably about another 150 Dragon Bones, 100, 100 to 150 more. Um, before I do that, I think I'm going to go and craft all my... Uh, green dehyde and see what my cash looks like anyways um, to decide whether or not I just go and do the dragons with or without the cannon uh, most likely I'll just do them with the cannon just to make it go faster anyways but just want to change it up a little bit and do some crafting alright got all them uh, green dehydes tanned um, took me about 22 minutes now it's time to go ahead and make them all into dehyde bodies and then elk them. And we got uh, crafting level coming in, 65 crafting. And another crafting level coming in, we got uh, 66. Alrighty, and there's all the dehyde bodies made. And it took us about a little over 15 minutes to craft them all. Alrighty, and we're done elking all those green dehyde bodies. Uh, gave us a nice cash stack there of 1.4 mil so add that to the bank I think we're up to like 1.7 at this point let's see yeah 1.7 mil and now it's time to go to blast furnace and make about another 150 ish steel bars to make into cannonballs so I can finish off this uh, 70 prayer grind so I decided to go ahead and make some prayer pots since I'll be needing some for borrows anyways um, to get uh, this 52 herb lore. reason for that is, is now I can make uh, super energy pots. Since I'm all out of regular energy pots I'm thinking I'm probably going to go do an um, inventory worth of Mortmire fungus before I do blast furnace just so I have some super energy pots to make it go quicker and that way it's cheaper for me as well. Just a quick tip, um, as soon as you have the ability to plant like a white berry or a poison ivy berry bush, uh, go ahead and plant it here at the uh, monastery so that every time you use your cape, you can go ahead and pick it, whatever one you have, and it just helps you um, save up herb lore secondaries. That way it's just something you're kind of doing passively. Every time you teleport here, you just go ahead and pick that and, you know, Slowly but surely, build up a good stack of berries. And there we have 61 smithing coming in. I'm going to finish doing the rest of these 200 uh, steel bars into cannonballs. And um, that should give me plenty enough cannonballs to get about another 100 to 150 dragon bones to finish off my 70 prayer.